Hey, what up guys? It's your boy, The Bardis, and you know how we do it. I'm here to give you another rendition of my great cuts, and today I'm gonna be doing a flat top style mix with a burst fade on the sides. As you can see, I have the long, nasty look. I'm really scruffy, I really need a cut, and I think this would be a great tutorial because I've never done it before, and it's always something I wanted to do. So I'm gonna start off with cutting the back off. I used to have a mohawk here, kind of thing going on so I'm gonna cut this down and I'm gonna start off I'm gonna probably use a two guard for this you're gonna comb your hair with a big teeth comb or you know, if you just have straight hair you probably wouldn't have to comb it out yeah I never had a flat top before I think when I was younger I had a flat top Now I'm gonna do the other side right here. You wanna go straight up. You don't want to, you know, go into the top hair yet. I actually closed the clipper. Straight up. I don't have as much hair on the sides as I did in the back. And these are just off of just my interpretations of the cut and how I will, I, I'm actually teaching you guys to do it. Oh yeah, shout out to all the people that saw me at the different barber battles and um, that actually shout me out. Ha, this went out to get some. There it is. Anyways, this is good Taco Bell. This um, is a shit nigga. If you wanna know what scunt means, what scunt really means? It's just dumb ass, like. Yo skunk, what are you saying? I'm gonna do the burst fade first and the lowest guard that I have, it's a um, 116 and I'm gonna have it closed. So you just rub out that area. And I'm using a 1.8 close. I'm gonna go around the burst fade. The 1.16 the open, middle, you know, 70, 75% of the way, all the way, you know what I mean? So we're gonna work, work this fade in. I'm gonna go in the middle. So we're gonna go lower, so we're gonna go closer. So we kinda get it. So those are just the between levels of this part. All right, so what I'm doing here is the burst fade like I told you guys. It starts by the ear and then it branches out. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna load on the hair. And the one guard, this or the one, the one eighth. Half, I did close right here. Then I did half, a little higher. Then I opened it a little higher. So I'm gonna use the, the one guard. I'm gonna just try to go straight up with it. So I'm just taking my time and making sure the cut looks good. You can see how the burst is happening and I load it down. I, I load it front down so that it can complement the full cut. And just cut, go all around. Keep it like right about here. Right here, you stop right here. Cause that's where you're gonna start fading it to the top. And then brush, brush or comb. So I'm gonna start in the middle since I already know that this was the 116 close. I'm gonna start in the middle, 116 halfway. All right. Making it more appeasing to the people that are actually seeing your haircut. We're gonna open it a little bit more. And we're gonna go down so so as to just give it that that blend look. This I'm gonna have it closed with no guard. 
and just do the bottom. Time go over it with a 116 just for you guys. So I got a 116 close right above what I just did. Right there. So between the 116 close and no guard close is everything between right here. So that's what I'm gonna use to basically make the fade look good. Fade it. So we're gonna go just above halfway. And we're gonna go low. We go low. So we're gonna open it some more. Just about halfway now. Go up. Depends on how you want it, you do, you do it accordingly. Same thing on this side again. Just to make sure when you cut your own hair, you always have to make sure. It's all about making the hell short. Halfway with it, 116 halfway. I'm gonna go a little higher than that. So I'm in a better mood because basically finished up a little bit here. I'm gonna brush this down a little bit. Then I'm gonna comb it because it is a flat top, so you got the different hair levels going on and different elements, so. Then I'm gonna turn around for you guys so you can see it. Looks like so far. Obviously, we have the burst fade on the sides, which we did, 116, and then we did, um, we went out, so we faded it. We faded the back down here so it could blend with the sides here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my sides look a, more, a little more presentable for the cut. So I'm gonna kinda do the same thing I did with the back, with the back as well. So I'm gonna go low right here on the sides. Go low. Ah. Go low, go center, 50% up. Same thing over here. Open it all the way now. All right, cool. So now we got a little little fade happening so you understood what happened there i hope go behind it a little bit get in the center of our street yeah so if you understood what i did no guard no guard close up a little bit 
halfway up a little bit, full up a little bit, and you got the little fade. Now, as you can see, it's not totally fade. So you get the next level to that, which is the 116 guard, put on that. You close it or you put it halfway, depending on what you want. And I usually put it like a little halfway. Open it. Sometimes your hair requires a little touching up. And what I see here is I see like a little, um, a little height issue with the hair there. So I'm gonna use the one to get that down a little bit. Got the one open that we just basically look, making it look presentable. I wanna see that. All right, so we got a little burst, the burst going on on the side. Got a little burst on the side, now I mean, burst on the other side, now I mean. What I gotta do now, which I have never really done before, is I have to, have to cut the top of my hair to make it look symmetrical, to make it look like it has some kind of um, you know, shape. What I'm, um, what I'm gonna do, what I will assume that you should do, is you should have a smaller, smaller mirror. And I have, I have a lot of mirrors, actually, to get the job done. You get a small mirror so you can see the top of your hair and you can actually gauge what you're doing. I'm gonna hold it like this, straight. And get it come across from the side. So what you wanna do, obviously you have your back mirror as guidance, just in case you need to look at the back. And just come straight. Straight now. Like I said, what you obviously need to do is need you need to um, have a mirror right here and gaze the front. Not sure. To the back, I got the big mirror, obviously. And, um, I want to be able to, so I'm going to have it on the side here so I can see the actual size of my hair. I'm going to do it and I'm going to come across. Straight across. Lay, lay your clipper on your hair. Just cut it down. So we got, it. we're in the middle from the front mirror and then in, in the back we're low enough so you don't want to just cut off everything, you just want to you want to just gauge it and not do too much one time. You want to cut as little at the time as possible so that you don't mess yourself up. You want to keep your, gut, your, your clipper straight. Look from the front, you got the front going on. You come forward, slowly but surely. The other side, come forward slowly but surely. And for now, you're looking, you're looking crisp. You know, you just wanna, you don't wanna do too much to it. To where you can't, you make a mistake, and you can't do nothing. You want to just a little at a time. So this is where I am so far. And um, just because I haven't done it before, I'm not going to do too much of what I was just doing. I'm going to just keep it how it is right now. But um, I have a peak, so 
I usually just cut it off, but um, you know, everybody's like, oh, messing up your hairline, but um, don't we all, don't we all mess up our hairline. And if you don't want to mess up your hairline, when you're cutting your hair, don't do that. Bring down the baby hair a little bit. We call it baby hair in the Caribbean, so. Make sure you get everything squared up and straight, nice. Square to the top, so bear with your boy. All right, obviously you're gonna have your comb with you all the time. You comb the front, bam, hit the sides. Depending on what angle you want your hair at. Alright, I've been doing it for a while so I already know what time it is. Engage yourself, pull your ear down, use a tip around your ears. Yep. Yes, and uh, I'm almost done. <laughs> Woo! So, I mean, for the most part, the haircut is done. See it from the side, see it from the other side, see it from the back, see it from this side. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do for the front, I'm gonna comb it out, bring it up. You know what I mean? That's what you want to do. You want to bring it up, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the same techniques to square it up. What I usually do. So what I usually do is I follow my hairline. So from the front, I have it straight. Follow my hairline, and that's how I get. When you see, you know, things that are not going wrong, right? Because, you know, you cut your own hair. It's a, it's a little harder. It's harder to cut your own hair, so. Make sure everything, if something is not the way you want it, make sure you get it. All right, so for the sake of, you know, just completing this tutorial, I'm gonna do my beard as well. But, you know, obviously it's not a beard tutorial. To look presentable, I'm gonna cut down your beard a little bit. Put it around the same. Get your handy dandy brush. See that? There's a lot. No money, no family. Sixteen in the middle of Miami. Yeah, my gold tea. Actually, my gold tea is coming in. If you guys recognize, you know, when I when I started off on YouTube, I was pretty young. Didn't have no facial hair that wasn't uh, as good as cutting hair as I am right now. You know what I mean? I have to do all the tutorials before I get bald, you know? You know 
and I'll just be doing bald hair tutorials and that's gonna be cool. Nobody have time for that. Follow us on Instagram too, don't forget. That's what we do. If you need a music video, when you're in the Orlando area, or you need a commercial, in the Orlando area or if you anywhere and you need a commercial a ad anything to do with media check out Gears Production I guarantee you those guys are the bomb Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Just a dollar in a dream, man. We in the states doing this thing. We're gonna make it happen. So, if you need any production work, audio, audio recording, and you're in the Orlando area or you're anywhere in, you know, North America, we got you. Okay. Check out my website. Check out the website, realistproductions.com. They'll hook you up right. You gotta slow it down. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. Yeah, and then check, follow BV Ice underscore Ice Swag. Follow Tony TVL Bon Jovi on Twitter. Follow me, the Bardis, on Twitter. And make sure, right, when you follow us, you add us, son. We's the bomb. You gotta slow it down. Down, down, down. Down, down, down. Do you see this cut? You gotta slow it down. Yeah, so this is the cut. This is the final, as you can see from the left side. This is the right side. And you got the left side. Turn around, you got the burst fade right here by the ears, burst out, and it goes into the fade in the back, which goes up a little, a little bit, not too high. Then you got the burst fade on this side again, burst out. Carry them my this one pizzle, but them done say I'm sorry now. Yeah, so check out one pizzle too, man. He's my boy. Chops, Draco Root. He's a man. I mean, all right. So, what I I don't really like the you know the flat top like the perfect flat top looks. So what I'm doing is I got some I got a bottle of water, spray bottle, and I'm gonna show you guys how I style my hair to kind of get it to look you know a little roughed up, man. That's how I do it. So, what we doing is we have the pink. And now, you can have whatever you want. You can have pink or you can do gel, depending on what you want. You can, you can do um, all kind of stuff. So, Get your brush, brush your hair now. And now the pink sometimes, you know, I don't really have a, you know, I don't really 
I use the pink a lot, but it's like it like it it makes your hair white for a minute, and then when you keep continuously rubbing it in, obviously it's gonna come out how you want it. So like you know what I mean? This is kind of the look that I do, and. I prefer something like this. You know what I mean? Something, something cool. Something less, you know, less business. You know, something you can mess with. You know what I mean? So I just like it. I like I, lo I like it rugged. You know. So that's how I do it. You know, put in some water, put in some gel, mess it around. Make it look how you want, man. So, it's all about your preference, but it's what I do. It's what I do, this is how I do it, man. You know, for some of it, man. Come on, Danny. Come on, Danny. That's been it. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys learned a lot from this tutorial, and I plan to do a lot more. New look, we're going down to St. Thomas for Carnival. You know how we do it. Out one is your boy Bardis.